National Streaming Sports is brought to you in part by BetUs.com, designed for true fans. NFL odds, week one, and futures. College football odds, including Heisman Trophy favorites and playoff odds. NBA odds of division winners and playoffs. Major League Baseball playoff and World Series odds. The National Hockey League Conference playoffs and Stanley Cup odds. And boxing wagers. Betting opportunities include versus the spreads and outright winners. Also, during the game. Use our link on our website, nessp.info, the Bet Us Opportunities webpage, for a 125% bonus on your first three deposits. Must be 21 years old, and remember, bet responsibly. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls around the world. Time to experience the O's on the original sports podcast. Fellas, here we go. Football takes center stage finally. It's in the middle. It, it's, there's no better place for us to be. Uh, it's clear at this time of year, we will go around the NFL today. We'll talk some college football today. We'll even dabble in Shohei Otani today. He needs mention. He did some he did some serious damage with the bat this year. Uh, his season was one for the ages. So we'll we'll talk about that a little bit. Uh, how you doing tonight, Chops? Oh, I'm good. I'm ready to rock and roll. I you bet know you me. are, Sheen. I like that blanket you got on behind you now. That's that's nice. Yeah, the command the command center is going through a little change here. I got stuff everywhere now, so I, I couldn't flip it today. Usually, I got the TVs behind me. They right here now. I'm watching actually watching Cincinnati Risk. And the commander's highlights, but yes, got the nice. bikes, got the dartboard and the bikes behind me today. Hey, I was thinking to myself when uh, when baseball World Series comes on, or you know, playoffs and all that stuff, you'll be able to do it all. You'll be able to do it all. You know, I used to like when college football had a game on, like starting on Tuesday night and, and run into Saturday. Did you, did you guys remember that? That was maybe a handful yeah, of years yeah, ago. yeah. They were doing something like a Mac game. I think as the later, I think as the season gets later, the Mac does that. I hope There's, so. You know, I was about to say they're not big schools; they're not the Power Five schools. But I'm you will get some. I'm gonna tell y'all what I don't like: two Monday night games. Oh, I don't know, man. You I like that? Like like I liked it. I uh, liked it. Well, so, here's the thing: because if we only had the Bills and Jaguars, that wasn't even a game. No, that game was over at half. Yeah, that, 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 that was over. That was why. And, and I'll be honest with you. I normally like the Sunday matchups better than the Monday night matchups normally. Yeah. And yeah. last night had Buffalo and Jaguars been the only show in town, but them, them, them commanders came through for us and did the thing. That's going to be fun to talk about them. Hey fellas, uh, I got, what do I got? Five college games for us to talk about um, Tennessee and Oklahoma. First game I want to talk about, they were both ranked. And looking to prove themselves as ranked teams. Uh, some thoughts on that. Let's start with you, Sheen. Well, I can tell you that Oklahoma has made a quarterback change. Uh, they, they're going with uh, I forget his name, but yeah, they switched quarterbacks. I, um, <coughs> excuse me. That was a, I thought it was a pretty good game until you know um, the quarterback. The quarterback played from Oklahoma. It just you know, I think he was a freshman, the, the guy they played. I think he was a freshman. It's so hard to keep up with all these damn quarterbacks. You know, even like what's going on with Texas. I don't know. Is Manning the guy now? So I don't know what's going on. But, yeah, um, I thought it was a good introduction for Tennessee to bring Oklahoma. Because it's their first year, right? Yeah. 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 I thought it was a good, it was a good introduction to let them know how it's, how it's played in the SEC. This ain't the, uh, you know, this ain't the big whatever they were in before, Big 12. Back to whatever they, what the hell they were in, but yeah, what were they in? <laughs> big they twelve in the, in the Big Twelve. Yeah, they were in the Big Twelve. Yeah, chop some thoughts on Tennessee and Oklahoma, fellas. Honestly, I for the first four weeks I don't watch much of college. Hey. Hold on, here's the thing: I did watch Michigan and Texas when Texas smacked them. I did want to see if 
uh, Florida State, that's what scored. I wanted to see how they would do. And I watched uh, USC in Michigan, of course. Wanted to see how that was. Who else was it? Uh, Notre Dame. Did they play USC? Who no. did Notre Dame? Michigan. Who did, no- USC. who did Notre Dame play two weeks ago? No, no, no. Two weeks ago, A&M. When they played A&M, I watched yes, that game. A&M. Because, fellas, I don't put a whole lot into the rankings. And, and even if you take away the rankings, the teams, to me, aren't gelling for the first three, four weeks. Now, I'm I'm definitely watching Bama and Georgia this week, regardless if there was ranked. Yeah, 730 Saturday not. night. Yeah. Beside, so I don't watch a whole lot of them because I don't like the rankings. Oh. And the first couple of weeks, they're playing our sister, Lady of Grace. So if you got big schools, I'm watching them. But I don't watch a whole lot. And Texas – or excuse me, Tennessee and Oklahoma, uh, I wasn't – become- I'll bet you that becomes more of a a, a game down the road. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, yeah both, they both do a nice job of recruiting, and they find themselves in the top ten or the top twenty-five um, pretty regularly now. I know Tennessee had a drop off there for a, for quite some time, and then yes. they, in the last handful of years again they found themselves uh, uh, back in the thick of things. Hey, my, uh, Alan said uh, Michael Hawkins is going to be that quarterback this week. That's him. Yes. Thanks, Alan. Yeah, that's him. I want to touch back on what Chop said, how, like, the rankings. I mean, I think the rankings are usually good for, like, the first maybe top three to four. But then when you get teams like Notre Dame, who's, like, seven, like, out of the blue, like, and they always stink. They, they never, they never, they're never, like, they, they're never that good. Fellas, it was – Penn State. It's been, it, it's been a minute. I'll admit it's been quite a while, quite a while. And there were a few teams, and I want to say Air Air Force was one of them, so you know how long it was when, maybe 15, 20 years ago, yeah. where I stopped paying attention to the rankings until like the first four or five weeks. The reason being is if you're ranked high and you lose, now you don't fall as far, and then you can do okay. Where the year I'm speaking of, Arizona was winning, winning, Air Force was winning, 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 but they started out ranked so low, they, did, they never got to where I felt they should have been. So I still watch the football, but I don't like to look at any of, you know, the ranking. Now, if I'm if it's late fourth quarter of a game and somebody's on upset alert, I'll turn that on. Chops, is that the year they had that really good quarterback? Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I can't think of his name, but I I remember that season. I I think they won the Commanders Cup. They were beating everybody. They they were nice. Hey, Schmitty, good to see you, buddy. Thanks for joining in tonight. Schmitty said Pitt is it. I'm a little skeptical on that. As much of a Pitt fan as I am, you guys. I'm a little skeptical on them being it. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see how the rest of the schedule plays out for them because they've got some big dogs on the board. You yeah. know, they, I, I will say that for Pitt, Eli Holston, he's legit, man. I, I really, really like him. When you say okay. big dogs, like the, the teams that were supposed to be big dogs really ain't big dogs. I, I'm just worried about Miami at this point. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, here. Clemson, F- FSU, you know, those teams. I, I don't want to call – you're right, Racine. I don't want to call them big dogs. But compared to the recruiting that they do, right, compared right. to what Pitt gets, right. you know, true. they're more of a – they get an edge. And yeah. that's where I, what I was going to get into. Before we come on, Dream had on the Big 33 pitcher from back in the day, and we know Big 33. And and Pittsburgh is – the state of Pennsylvania is always highly recruited in football, right? Yeah. They're always highly recruited. So having said that, how are these pit coaches allowing some of these players in football and basketball, football more so, getting them? I know, man, but all of them, but all of them. I think part of it, too, is the the whole facility and all that stuff. You know, they're playing. Now, I have heard that because it's the way it's spread out around town. I have heard that. When you say facility, I I wouldn't say facility. I think it's the campus as far as urban city living, you know. um, Yeah. I think a lot of kids, you know, don't they don't want to play in an urban setting. And like I told y'all, when I went to Penn State in Michigan last year, I understand why kids go to Penn State. I think the crowd is that's all that's there. What, what you're that's just what I was gonna say. You're absolutely right. That's the only thing that's there. So you can get all these cats to go in the middle of nowhere, but the crowd is hype. If you had a decent team and you could recruit, and I I gotta believe Pitt, whether it's Dorset and some of the other guys that went to the league. They should have the boosters. be Now, I understand they can't get with Ohio State boosters and NIL money, but they should be able to produce and keep some of these kids in the state. A couple of them? Give me one. Give me shopping. Yeah. I, well, I you know, also, kids kids like the, um, you know, they go to that whole, like for me, I'm always 
go go to your like even in Maryland. Maryland has good kids, but for some reason they won't go play for Maryland. Like why not make your state school good? You know, make a name here. Like I don't want to go where they got a, they got a statue of Mark out front. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I want to go somewhere yeah. where I could get my own statue. But these yeah. kids, they don't, these kids don't. I get will that. say this about what Smitty wrote there: Pitt has benefited from the portal. They have. Yes. You know, they had a bad quarterback pick up a couple years ago in Slovak, but they have a good one right now. And he's what? He's not a true freshman. He's a redshirt freshman. Redshirt. Yeah. You know, he's he, better than Drew Alarm. And, and anybody who wants to debate yeah. me on it, go look at the numbers. Here's, you know, here's, here, here's my thing, though. Here, here's my thing. Yes, technically, technically, they have benefit from the portal. But what – when I say benefit from the portal, I want to see a couple big names. Did you, you know what I mean? They're not, they're, they have benefited from it. I'll, I'll give you that, but they're not getting the big time five star or the big money guys from the portal. And I understand, like you said, it could be the campus, it could be the coach, it could be the yeah. atmosphere is not hype. You're not thinking the same when you walk in to a pit game that you're thinking of when you're in a big house or you're in Beaver State. You know what I'm saying? So I get that. I, I get that. You get out of the Stadium, that. then you got to get out of there. I mean, yes. that's, that's they the bottom line. Facility. Part of the reason they, they pushed uh, Heather out the door is because she dumped all that money into non-money making sports. Yeah, I was. I read a big thing about that. And, and part of the reason they moved her on, she dumped all that cash into non-money making sports. Hey, shout out to our guy Frankie Cruz Jr. Uh, what's up, boys? Let's go Yankees! The Yankees did clinch. Uh, Frankie's from our ESEN network, so uh, yeah, Frankie. thanks, Frankie, for joining us tonight. Appreciate yeah, it. But to get back on what you just tapped on was, you know, Pitt women's volleyball is number one and Pitt men's soccer is number one today. I, I said, get it. Oh, I get so. it. They do got some nice. <laughs> oh, that's, oh, that's the sound machine. Oh, you take it back. Okay. <laughs> Where is okay. it? Okay. Where is it? <laughs> hey, uh, let's, let's move on to the next game. It was uh, USC and Michigan. Again, we're talking about a couple of couple of ranked teams, USC was 3-0, and Michigan was 2-1, and and if I remember correctly, correctly, Michigan beat shit out of them. They didn't beat shit out of them, but they no, won. They, they, well, they, 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 physically, they looked like they pounded them. I watched some of that. In the beginning, it did, yes. Here's the thing. Yeah, they did, but USC's speed came through. Now, yes. I, mean, I was interested to see when they said USC, Oregon, moving to the Big Ten. I wanted to see – if they made them run through the gauntlet like the Ohio State or in the Pitt, Penn State and Michigan and how Penn State plays both Michigan and Ohio State, right? But having said that, because, yeah, you have the speed, but when you're getting punched in the mouth every week, about five, six weeks in, it's going to say it's start taking its toll, fellas. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how that plays a part in it. So, and, and to be honest with you, I'm glad Michigan won. I like more. I like more the coach of Michigan. Don't understand how his agent couldn't get him a contract. You realize he's playing with no, he's coaching without a contract. Never heard. Look it up. Moore does not, unless they sign within the last 24 hours, Moore, the Michigan, the University of Michigan football coach does not have a contract. He's on a prove it deal, huh? Yep, basically. Okay. And he you're needed running it. on he last needed. year's deal and you got to prove you you earned a contract. I'm just, I'm, just, I'm just so fabricated at how they don't have a top notch quarterback. Okay, and I was going to say, but do you, okay, I understand McCarthy got drafted, but here's the thing. Harbaugh, every year for what the last few seasons, tampering, cheating, whatever have you, Moore does not have the cachet nor the pull that Harbaugh did. Or, you know what I'm saying? Do you think he is truly trying to walk the line, recruit, do everything on the up and up? And maybe that's why he's not getting any of these top guys? Because you have to think, man, day. I think Dave probably did some shady stuff at OSU to get some of those guys, and he's got the NIL money. We know Harbaugh did some shady stuff. Half of his team was drafted last year. You know what I mean? But then you have Dabo, who said he's not using the NIL. Dabo, who's not paying – or excuse me, he's not using the transfer portal. And his teams don't look like they used to. And as now you have Michigan, who a new coach, can't risk – being out there caught with his pants down, hand in a cookie jar. I wonder if that did play a part in who he got to the portal or whatever, because the name alone will bring in people, just Michigan. Let's but give wonder- him a year, though. Let's let's give him a year. Let's give him, you know, a little bit of time to mess around, learn that porthole a little bit better. You know, let, let's let him get his feet wet as a head coach full time. Uh, I just think he, he's going to – I like him, so I'm, 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 I'm cool with that. 
you know, uh, I like him a lot better than I like Harbaugh. I'm not a Harbaugh fan. I'm not that Harbaugh fan. This one over in Baltimore here, he doesn't bug me. I, I think he's a, he, I think he's a pretty good coach. He's made some adjustments and stuff with his team as time has gone on in Baltimore, and, and I like him better. He's not as pompous. He doesn't think his shit doesn't stink. He's not that guy. So, uh, yeah. Hey, let's move on. Uh, NC State and Clemson. Did you guys follow this game at all? I did. Not at all. Not a I play. Did. I did. Not a play. I, I got so many TVs running here, bro. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I watched it. I had it on TV number one. Uh, um, it, it, it was, I think it was like 59 36. I think it was the final. But at some point, it was 59 to 3. And, it, and yeah. I guess Clemson. And they must have just emptied out like the, the uh, red shirt, you know, whatever. The uh, guys who. Or walk on, uh, hold dummies, four string guy. I mean, that Kluber looked really good, and NC yeah. State was right. Am I correct? NC State was right. I didn't think yeah. either team. They yeah. were. What were they right? They were like twenty four, I believe. Yes. Yeah, yes. I, I thought so. I was yes. like, wow, look at the ass beating they're giving them. It was kind of like Buffalo against Jacksonville uh, on Monday night. You know, it was. Just, it really was like a lot of big plays. They couldn't do anything wrong. No. They couldn't do anything wrong. That's why I said, you know, a team like that playing Pitt, if they're playing like that, they're going to wipe Pitt out. I don't think Pitt has the dogs to to compete with a team like that. But, you know, that's neither here nor there. Uh, NC State and Clemson both have one loss going into that. But that, you know, that puts what? Clemson at 3-1 and one and NC State at 2-2, two and two, both ACC teams. So we'll see how that plays out for those guys. Fellas, if NC State is 2-2, two and two, no way did they go in that 2-1. and one. You, th- I th- I didn't think either team. They might have been. You guys don't watch it better more than me. I didn't think they were ranked. But was let me ask you this: Was it a good game? I mean, like I said, did you turn it off when it was out of? Oh, you could have turned that off uh, beginning of the second quarter. Yeah, it, it was I just, I, yeah, I just had it on because I was had games on and I was moving around in here and trying to put stuff up and yeah, yeah. I was in transition. I had it on here. I was doing some stuff here before I went out and. Uh, I watched it. I mean, I, I, you could have turned it off the beginning, maybe halfway through the second quarter because it was so dominant. It was a dominant performance by, by Clemson. Uh, let's jump to this game. Miami is now the ACC favorite. Uh, Miami was in South Florida, right? And, uh, ooh, you know, it, it was a dogfight to start with. and then, Yes, it was. Yeah. It was. Yeah. Uh, like all the way to halftime. And then, yeah. yeah. And then, do you think that you think because that was a dogfight to start with until halftime, do you think that exposed some things uh, that Miami has as a weakness? It'll help other teams to play them. I think South Florida has a bunch of Florida guys that didn't make it to Miami, and you know they hung around for a little while. They got players, obviously. They hung around for a little while, and you know then I guess Miami, you know, wore them down. Yeah, their their depth and their skill level is yeah. at a whole is different. It's different. I'll be honest with you, I'm not completely sold on Miami just yet. They beat Florida in state rival. They beat FAMU, the yes. Rattlers, which they should have better talent. They beat Ball State, Ball State, you know, and then they beat USF. So I'm not sold on them just yet. Just they yet. Four schools in Florida. What's that mean? I said they didn't have to leave the state for three three no. games. I know. And you know who said the same thing you just said, Chops? USF. Well, they're supposed to say it, but they still had to know that they that Miami had better athletes than they had. Oh, well, yeah. It was close, yeah. though. Like you said, it was a good first half. I said, shoot. I thought they was going to stick with them. I did. Because we talked about this before. When you have better athletes, if you're playing on emotion in that first half, Okay, great. Even when we saw Clemson going in motion against Georgia in that first half, and then come second half, your better athletes are just going to shine. Yeah. Your, your better athletes are going to shine. You yeah. know what I mean? Because we know Dabo can coach. We already know that. He just didn't have the horses, the dogs that could run with Georgia. So He has no transfers. None. He don't mess none. with them. He will not he mess with the portal. The portal. Yep. I want to see how long right. he's going to do that and be competitive. Uh, might, you know, hey, the game might the, pass him by. The board of governors is going to sit him down and say, "You need to get into it. You you want to keep your job and your big ass paycheck? You need to go into that portal." Yeah, that's yeah, the way. Yeah. That's the way things are going in college football. That was the last game I <clears throat> I had on the slate. Is top five 
football games for this week, I had Illinois and Nebraska. Um, I, I'm a big – like, I like that Raiola kid. Like, I just yeah. like him. I, I know yeah. he's a lot – he tries to be Mahomes in the way he acts and does shit, but I like him. I think he's going to come into the league with some moxie and, and be successful. He just carries himself different. He's a true freshman too. Am I correct? Correct. Yeah. He I was like on every team. week down here last year. He what? He was on every, damn near every week down here because he's from Georgia. Okay. Yes. Yeah, I'll he, tell you he, what. I've been reading about that. I knew that he was from Georgia because I've been reading about that kid since he was a junior in yes. high school. You yeah. know, he just got that moxie about him. You know, they, certain guys, they come out, they just have that thing. They just have that yeah. thing. Well, and, his, his dad played at Nebraska. His dad's a D lineman. His dad was a black shirt. You know what I mean? So he was born around with that. Yeah. All of what you want, I don't – he was born around that alpha male mentality. He really yeah. was. And he's a pretty he big kid too, him. isn't he? What's yeah. that? What's yeah, Raul is a pretty big kid, isn't he? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And you know why else I like him? Because he's a paisan. He's a paisan. I bet they have – I bet they make pizzelles at his house machine. Mm, I hope so. Yeah, hell yeah. Just, you know, Josh hates pizzelles. I hate him. <laughs> you hate pizzelles? Yeah, I hate him. You don't remember this conversation? Was, you know, you know, and then, yeah, fellas, you know, beside me, DB Azio, Intrier, and all, more like all of them, all the they were making it every year. I do not like Italian desserts. I love pasta, but I do not like Italian desserts. I don't, I don't like tiramisu. I don't, I don't like, like that either. I don't like cannolis. I'm not a I fan of pit sales. I'm not. I, I'm, I'm not. Now family. you give me. The pasta, the pasta, and I'm not just talking about regular spaghetti. I like, you know, I, I like the the different the different kinds the of fettuccine Alfredo. Oh man, I, and I know like Raul, man, down here in Georgia, they was making Alfredo, and they was probably making spare ribs Alfredo, you know, <laughs> collard greens, rigatoni, <laughs> peach tea. <laughs> oh shit! All right, let's go into the NFL a little bit here, fellas. Uh, news and notes. Uh, and scores. Uh, Philly at New Orleans um, kind of shocked me. That game kind of shocked me at first. Uh, I, I don't know. Saquon had an, a good game, but the Philly. Well, he broke that 165 yarder. The yeah. play of the game was three Saints defenders running into each other and letting yeah. Goddard go 62 yards. Did you see that? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it was like, what, it, yeah, it was Keystone Cops. And fellas, I mean, I know we have games to go over. But to me, and I was watching a lot of them, but it really came down to a few main stories for me. And I'll wait till we get to them. But I, there, to me, it was about the Cowboys, the Ravens, yeah. you know, yeah. what they did. Of course, our Steelers impressive them, you know, whatever have you. But we're going to move through these kind of quickly, Chops. Uh, the only thing I want to say about New Orleans is I like that D line. Yeah. I do like that D line. Uh, man, J I, I, Chase, uh, what's it, Chase Williams? The guy who played with the Redskins. Man, did he, is he, what, he looks like sometimes a different player. you just need to change the scenery because he is a whole new cat. He is a yep. whole new cat. He was going down the line, making plays. Yeah. Um, the, the kid from Damascus, Rasheen Brisse, he looks good. You know, like that's a good defensive line. Right. That really is. Hey, uh, Giants at Cleveland. How about that shit? Talk about an upset. Listen, I had Cleveland defense fantasy. I just knew that. I just knew I was getting 30 points. Knew it. But see, here's a it's it's the same <laughs> any given Sunday, but that's also why I hate that. I hate that saying because you know on Sundays no team is gonna go have a perfect season. You'll see it in college, but I fellas, I can't prove it, and you can call me and say whatever you want. The reason I don't bet on definitely pro sports, I think some of these guys come in and don't just say I held it. I'm, my checks already cleared. I'm not, just some of the performances I see are not inspired. They're not motivated. They're not, it just, it bothers me. It I bothers always, me. I always thought that in basketball, but not football. Basketball, I always thought, well, I don't got to play defense because I ain't trying to get hurt. I'm trying to be like 40 and collect checks. But football, ooh, man, that's tough to say. Well, yeah, here's the thing. I, if I have it on, I can send you guys a video on that play where Goddard broke when three guys ran in, I recorded it. You see the safety he does not want contact at all. He well, gets to him and he's slowing down to wait for the other guys to catch up to him. But also that, though, even you can go in and have contact. Sometimes you act like you slip or you just don't go for a pass or a quarterback throws a bad pass. I'm just 
or, 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 or you don't want to get fined. Yeah, but it's just hard for me in pro sports, man, because you have any given Sunday, no one, one team in all the years that we watched pro football has had a perfect season. It doesn't seem crazy to y'all. Rest yeah. in peace, Mercury Morris. Whoo! Yeah, R.I.P. to Mercury. I yeah. didn't know he was from Pittsburgh, Sheen. Evan yeah. Worth, yes. Yo, and he took that. He took that steal being only the undefeated team on perfect season. He took that serious because they interviewed him every year. And he yep. loved that. He loved. He jumped all over New England that one year. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Was, yeah, you're right. He was serious about that. It, Malik Neighbors. That's a legit receiver right there. Yeah, but I don't think Jones is going to be able to keep doing what he's been doing. He, Neighbors is dependent on Jones, not vice versa. Yeah. Hey, Beck. Beck going to be the quarterback next year. There. They going to eat that money. Who's Carson Beck. Beck Kim. Oh. Uh, how about Cam? Um, oh, what the hell's his last name? You know who I'm talking about the quarterback. Uh, oh, dang, the, the quarterback uh, from uh, it'll come to me. But uh, the other really good athletic quarterback in college, Cam. Oh, Cam, the, uh, right? You talking about the guy from is? Miami or Utah? Yeah, is that what it is? That what it Which is? one? Which one did you say, Cam Wright? And who's the other one? Cam Rising. Cam Wright. I okay. think that's the one they're talking about. Miami. Yeah, I think that's the one they're talking about. Uh, Chicago at Indy, fellas, um, just a little bit of tidbit here. Just because you throw for 350 yards don't make you a all-pro quarterback when you lose. Okay? Just, Listen, just cause you just, we got we got pre, we got to preface that by saying we ain't hating, but I agree with you. You know, I, I'm not hating on a kid. I said this when we did our – Fellas, when we did our, our, our time capsule show, I told you Jaden Daniels is going to be uh, rookie of the year. I told you that. I said that. I've been saying for over a year that, that Caleb Williams, there's something about him. He doesn't he doesn't have that moxie like Rayolo has. Okay? He doesn't have that moxie. I don't see that. I see him being anointed without doing anything. He's got right. all those weapons, and he can't yeah. get it done. And then he came out. He threw. He kind of threw his his defense under the bus and said, "You know, my, our D needs to step up a little bit." Yeah, can't do that. You know, I don't know if that's I right. Need, I need to see. Well, first off, I need to see if he said that. Okay. I need to see if he if he really if he truly said that because there has been a why well, even before when we did the pre draft, I've always liked Jane Daniels. So, but now I didn't watch the game. They only won by four, so it wasn't a whole lot of mop up time. So, was he? So I'm not saying he was getting these yards late because they were it was out of hand, but what he was getting them from 20 to 20 and couldn't score. What was what was going on? Throw for 350 and a loss. I think he threw. Let me let me check. I know he threw. They, they I was watching. They say he threw for a bunch of yards on short passes. Nothing too oh, yeah. far. A lot yeah, of yeah. Nothing, uh, it was like one of those uh, Mark Brunel 25 for 25, <laughs> 300 oh, yards, nice. <laughs> just dunking through the side. And then they were doing the rest. So, yeah, that's what it was. It was a lot of short passes. It wasn't like, oh, he's throwing balls. Yeah, he averaged seven yards a pass. He had 52 attempts there, and an 80 rating. He had 80. I got you. I you got know you. who had a higher rating than that? Justin Fields. Yeah, hey, buddy. Going, going back, though, uh, Anthony Richardson, mm, not so much. He has not crossed the 50% barrier yet this year in completions. He Said leads the league in interceptions with six, and he has not played a top defense yet. Oof. What's going to happen when he plays a top defense? We'll see something. It, what, it tells me that he can't read a defense, and if he takes off, he's going to know he got hit against some top defenses. Cleveland's going to hit him. Steelers are going to hit him. Like, hey, we got to – before we yeah, before we leave, we gotta we gotta we gotta put all three of those guys out there on passing downs, man. We'll get to that. Okay, um, Houston and Minnesota, that was an upset, fellas. Sam Darnold did go out of the game. He's listed as questionable for this he week. Okay. But um, you yeah. know that that was a pretty significant upset coming from crazy. Minnesota. I, I didn't see that coming. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting how a guy like Darnold bounced a little bit around the league. And all of a sudden, he found his stride, Minnesota. Like well, that's, it's like you guys have been saying, man. They're giving out too much money to these quarterbacks who ain't doing anything, yeah. haven't done anything. Yeah. 
Only yeah. quarterback playing worth the money is Mahomes. And I don't, does he get paid as much as some of these? Are he the he's, not even, he's not even top 10. Yeah, I was going to say he's not in the top 10 now. And he's the only one worth his his contract. I don't. I think there's one. J, Jalen Hurst is the only quarterback in the top ten. No, yeah, I think he's. I think he's the only quarterback in the top ten that's wow. been in a Super Bowl. That's crazy. Yeah, I that's think because I don't think Stafford is in the top ten anymore. I think Jalen Hurst is the only QB in the top ten that's even been in a Super Bowl. And Minnesota's doing this without. Jordan Addison on the other side of Jefferson right now. Jordan right. Addison, yeah. he's still listed as questionable because of his ankle injury. His ankle, so yes. uh, uh, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with them. Um, I think Houston will absolutely positively bounce back this week. Oh, yeah. That's not their MO. You know, uh, every dog has their day kind of thing. Um, yeah, I could see that happening. And Minnesota's a little bit better than people thought. You know, you, you lose a quarterback, they lost McCarthy. People didn't think they could get it done. It's just no. going to put, you know, if Minnesota gets in the playoffs with, with Darnall, just gets in the playoffs, does this mean they've got a competition next year? Do they re-sign Darnall and McCarthy and, and Darnall battle it out? I mean, yeah. you know, that's something to keep an eye on going into next year. Fellas, Denver went down to Tampa and won. Another one. Oh, another upset, if I, in my opinion. Currently, Bo Nix is the best rookie quarterback out there playing. Currently, better than Daniels. Yeah. What are you talking about? Okay. He can't be better than Daniels. Uh, other than Daniels, I'm sorry. Other than okay. Daniels. Okay. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. My bad. My yeah. bad. Well, you uh, figure May May's not playing. McCarthy's not playing. Williams, he's suiting up, but he's not doing a whole lot. Who else we got? Penix. Penix, he's not playing. He's no. Not playing. No. But okay. Nix is actually he went down he went down to Tampa and he took care of business. You know, that that win for the Steelers out in Denver, fellas, doesn't look so so much like a pushover when Denver just went on the road and won down in Tampa. You know? Right. I mean, uh -huh. it just and then Tampa Tampa went into Philly, right? And beat Philly. Am I correct? On yeah, Monday they night. Beat, they didn't beat him. I thought Philly was two and oh man. I thought they beat them in Tampa. Well, they might have beat them in Tampa, but I'll tell you what, they they beat Philly. And, and that makes you scratch your head. But, you know, here's what I want to say about all this. Preseason games. All those stars get 10 snaps. Maybe. Maybe. This is their preseason right now, the first three, four weeks. Right. You know, you get to you get to the bye week for most of these teams, and that's when they start showing up because the guys have played enough. Fellas, they matter of fact, actually, Tampa Bay hasn't played Philly yet. They beat Detroit. Okay, yeah. okay, they that's went into what Detroit. Went into Detroit. And then Detroit beat Philly, right? Am I right? I don't think. Yeah, I might. I might have my. No, I they, have, Detroit hasn't played. Why do you hate Philly? No, Philly hasn't lost to Detroit yet. Now, okay. Tampa and Philly are coming up. The 29th. Okay. Yeah, buddy. Eagles yeah, lost buddy. to the Eagles lost to the Falcons. That and was, yeah, the Falcons. Jeez. Falcons squeaked that one out. But they got it. Though. Yeah, they got it though. Yeah. All right. Let's move on from there. Uh I, I'm gonna kind of jump over Green Bay at Tennessee. Um, yeah. I will tell you Malik Willis had another week. There, yeah. There's another guy. What what I Malik Willis is exactly what I wanted for Justin Fields. That's what I wanted for Fields. To, and it hasn't been long. Willis has not been there long, but at least he's been in the, the the study room and he's not had to be the guy. He's been able to sit there and learn from the head coach, the quarterback coach, and a quarterback who's doing it. That's what I was hoping because right now Fields, he's made some decent throws, but we're yeah. still looking at him for his, to, for his legs to be the difference maker. And they I will. Want his, I want his – scrambling to possibly be the, the 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 difference but when i say scrambling scrambling behind the line buying time where he can still throw the ball i hate him still running as much as he does yes as a great offensive coordinator will do his game plan will change every week and if you think about the first three games that fields has played for the steelers the game plan has changed every week every week you it, know the it, first it, week he done a lot of play action uh boot out throwing 
You know, last week was more of a power running game, keeping the ball on the outside when he threw it. This week he threw the ball down the middle and then they ran a power game. It became a little difficult for them to run a power game because they had lost Jalen Warren. But, you know, just well, – just, well, just, Now, also in the same token, look at who the first week of the season, we didn't know what the offense was going to do. I don't even think the coach knew because they hadn't had many live reps. So they kept everything away. As a word out of Pittsburgh was, we were afraid they were afraid to have him throw it down because he might have got picked off. So that was that. Second week, you know, what, what they're doing, D, and Denver was supposed to have a decent D-line. They were supposed to have a decent D-line, so they tried to go a little wide on him. This week, I think he was able to pass. Bosa going out early, fella, was huge. I think Bosa going out early in that game for San Diego was huge. There was no pass rush. So now with Indy, fast track, I'm, I'm looking I'm, – I'm, you're right, it does change because of who you play changes, but it's been helpful for Fields that there has been something that an experienced OC was able to exploit. You know what I mean with with and, and what they're doing. So I'm I'm so we'll see it this week. It's not against it's not against a great D line. You know what I mean. So it's not against a great team. The offense is in for Indy is abysmal. So I think our defense is going to feast. I'm I'm, I'm gonna beat for this one. Carolina at Vegas. Carolina went into Vegas and won that game with with uh, and again, uh, Andy that, Dalton. That's and, why I hate the NFL. Yeah, you know, mm-hmm. is that is that proved that playing young rookies like that, a guy like Bryce Young, is not ready, or does that just prove that Bryce Young shouldn't have been the number one pick? That he was a he was possibly a, a you know a circumstantial pick because he played for Alabama, who. It's always good, and they always have a bunch of NFL players. Well, you know my take on that one. I always second guess anybody from those schools because, like you said, the other ten, the other ten might be five star legits. I'm just here. I'm just here cleaning up. You know, I'm cleaning up what you and Chops left for me on the bone. Here, here's the thing, though. Andy Dalton was sacked twice. That O line actually blocked for him. That or excuse me, hold on, hold on. He he was he was sacked twice. They had a rusher who went over a hundred yards. That sure. O line opened holes. That O line has not done any of that for Young. Young wasn't even having enough time to look at forget progressions. Progression. He wasn't able to do anything. That's what ticked me off. This O line comes out and blocks like they've never blocked before. Come on, fellas. That was but, was totally it, different- but but oh, oh, but you also got to to me you got to say uh what when you say progressions was there passes that he should have had out already that he wasn't getting out and they he then you know he didn't he didn't get to go to the second progression because that's when they were on him but listen there's a lot of passes like even with Caleb Williams he's missing that first read pass you got to be able to get that first read out if it's supposed to be there it got to be there big dog his team, th- their lead rusher this week had 114. Before he had like 60, 65. Everything well, yeah. was cooking for him. And that just, just, just to me, but if you go back, if you can watch some of the first two games uh-huh. where Young is starting, those guys are in his ass like a wedgie. It was almost like the, the, the O line were bullfighters. Ole, ole. So you're saying, so I'm not saying you're saying, but it sounds like you're saying that they were in the locker room before when Young was playing. And he's like, hey, we ain't blocking for this guy today. <laughs> you, what, was the, what was the movie your boy Adam Sandler, they remade it when he got uh, the, the longest story. Longest story. Longest story. Longest story. Longest story. The, the offensive line got mad at him and just let him get sad. Seriously, I don't know if the, the offense hated Young. I have no idea. But, fellas, there was a completely different O-line that showed up this week compared to last week and any other weeks. And But – that also speaks. Was he that much? I don't know, man. I just that's why I hate the NFL. We saw from a team this week that we hadn't seen for the last 17 games. Come on, fellas. People about Johnson, Deontay Johnson right was there. open. <laughs> He's a good route runner. He had a touchdown. He's a good route runner. Yeah. Um, Detroit at Arizona. That was another good one for for that was a good game for a bit of a time. Yeah, they got out of control. When Detroit did the hook and ladder, that's if this when it went down. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. a good one. I like that one. I watched that yeah. one. They executed that Joker. They did yeah. perfectly. That the was Chiefs, a good game. The Chiefs at the ATL. Play down. Just seeing two teams uh, gunsling it. Is that what we got out there for that one? 
Yeah. All right. Let, let's jump ahead. Let Let's just jump ahead here. Whoa! You didn't do You didn't do Rams and Niners. I didn't get there yet. Oh. oh how about this one, fellas? The Ravens at Dallas. The Ravens were up what twenty eight three, and they yeah. held on for dear life. And I think our our buddy Watson hit the nail on the head. The Ravens can't handle a no huddle offense. They couldn't handle Dallas. Right. When Dallas went no huddle. Well, even yeah, but here's the thing, though. I had said it to a couple of my other friends and other techs who are huge Raven fans. Man, Raven's been giving it up like a freshman at the prom lately. For if you go back, right? I didn't realize it. Then three, four minutes later, they said since 2021, no team, no defense has given up more double-digit leads in the fourth quarter than the Ravens. Fellas, these teams are scoring on them well before they're in the hurry up. I don't know if these guys are taking it for I have no – and let's not forget, even these offenses, the Raven offenses, they're getting out ahead. They're, I think they scored 28 with early in the third quarter and didn't score anything yeah. else. Right. You know yes. what I mean? So it's on both sides of the ball, but the defense but is the one getting it up. Hey, Mark Andrews had not – he was irrelevant. Yeah, I know. He, Dude, no I catches. He's killing me. Yeah, on no catches. He's doing no. nothing. It's all about no. Isaiah Likely now. Yeah, you know, yes. What, what's going to happen with this guy? I don't know, because two weeks straight they went to likely where I think if you go to Andrews, that you you got two wins rather than those two losses. I think the Ravens could be 3-0. You went to likely, especially week one against Kansas City. I just think likely didn't know where he was. Andrews would have known that. Andrews' back line and end zone, it, that's his money shot. I just well, – I think I just, he's also coming off an injury too, so. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So, I ain't going to get rid of him. Mark, if you're no. listening to if you're listening, Mark, I ain't getting rid of you, buddy. Well, the thing with him too is he is injury prone. That's, that's injury prone. a fact. You know what I mean? Like he, Mark, he if you're like, listening, no. I didn't say that. I did, Mark. <laughs> I did. And I'm gonna tell you right now, Patrick Queen can run with you, so I ain't worried about you. When you when you play the Steel City guys, I ain't worried about you. Patrick Queen can run with you. So, um, yeah, let's go to San Francisco at the Rams. <laughs> That was a great game. That was on that was on the main screen here in the command center. That was an excellent game. Oh, that yeah. was a good game. Uh Kyron Williams had about I think he had three touchdowns. Uh the, the Niners just kind of fell apart towards the end. And then they stopped them. It was tied. Then they stopped them. Got oh, the punt returner damn near returned it for the Rams. Then all they needed was a couple yards and they kicked the field goal and won. That was a yeah. good ass game. They were down. They were down. I think 28-14 at one point. That was a good game. Excellent game. What are Carol we seeing? Williams. What are we seeing with that team then in San Francisco? Because you know they don't we're have seeing, but We're seeing without their stars, they can't do it. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, CMC went to Germany to get an opinion on that Achilles. Yeah. Wow. Yep. Yeah, uh, but the what are the what are the Niners now? And they but they had more starters out. They've lost yeah. two straight. They had they, Kilo out. They had CMC out. They had Kittles out. Yeah. Because yeah. when the first week when those guys were playing and only CMC was out, they beat the Jets, which was pretty de good de defense. It is. Which yeah. I was surprised. You know what I mean? Now, yeah. Minnesota's shocking everybody. You know what I mean? Minnesota really is. So, but we'll, we'll, here's my thing, fellas. I am not one to get caught up in the moment because at the end of the year, I got to believe. Now, the NFC is tight. The NFC is loaded. They really are. So that's uh, that's going to be interesting to see if they'll be there at the end of the year. You know what I mean? Because you're the Seahawks are balling, so yeah. we'll see. It we'll see if they're there at the end of the year. But if they get these guys back, and I don't know how good CMC will be when he gets back, but the guy they got starting now, that running back, I like him regardless. Oh, Jordan Mason, Mason, yep. Mason. Yep. So I like Mason regardless. So they're going to be straight now. Once you get your offensive weapons and the receivers back. They're, they're, that's going to be a different bunch to deal with. So we'll see how that goes. I'm guessing Debo will be back quicker. I know Kittle, Kittle's supposed to be back uh, uh, this week. They said. I already saw it's questionable for Quiddle, for uh, for Debo, but Kittle is supposed to be back this week. I got you. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out. Um, yeah, the Patriots and Jets guys. Only thing I want to say about that is, although Aaron Rodgers won that game, he still doesn't look like the guy he was 
No. Yeah. But of Three course he had a, he won. So now they're singing his high praises. Yeah. That that's the problem with me in sports today. You only have to have one great yeah. whatever, and then people yeah. get lost in the moment, you know, yeah. and it's so that's what bothers me. I think what bothers me, Chops, is his coach went up to celebrate with them and he's like, you know. know. But here's what I didn't hear anybody talk about that. Like what happened? And it's not even when he like when he pushed him away, he smiled like it was an inside joke. Rogers, here's my go ahead. Rogers said that that the coach isn't a hugger, so he was shocked and didn't know what was going on. That's what I saw that on McAfee. I said that's I said that's weird, but okay. Even if you have to I get that. But if I just say you and I are just standing there and we're we're at the Steeler game and the Steelers have a turnover and I just hug you. You be like chops. What are you doing? You might laugh or whatever. Pause. Yeah. Yes, he didn't do anything. He just looked at him and walked away. He never <laughs> smiled. And said, "What are you doing?" Listen to me. If it was a wide receiver, the things Aaron Rodgers has done to multiple teams, the Jets as well, the Patriots Packers. or Packers over the years, they'd have called him a male content. They'd have called him a diva, and they'd have been done with him. You yeah. leave. Say, there's a lot that Aaron Rodgers does because he's a quarterback, whatever. And I don't under, I don't understand why he gets so much praise he gets. You have one ring. Trent Dilfer has a ring. One. I, yeah, ju- I just don't get it. I'm with you, Chops. You don't I just have to don't spell get that it. to me. I, I'm not a I'm not a Rogers fan, never have been a Rogers fan. Uh, I, I think he's a pompous asshole. You know. Yes. I had a guy that knew knows the family that I that I'm friends with, and, and he told me a story that I was like, damn. What a piece of shit human being. Yeah. yeah. You know, like I just, yeah. I don't, I just don't have time for people like that, professional athletes uh, like that. Um, Miami at Seattle. Miami went up, got their asses handed to them. So let's jump into Shohei for the last, say, 10 minutes or so of the show, fellas. Shohei Otani, first 50 50 player, and he didn't stop. The game that put him to 50 50, he had, uh, Three home runs, 10 RBIs, and five wow. extra base hits. It, it was insane, the game he had. Uh, you know, what do you say? Who do you compare him to? Who would you compare Otani to? Whoever did 40-40, I guess. Barry Bonds? <laughs> can't, do, can't do that because you've seen – what is it? Because everybody's been putting that out there. Did Otani – one of these leagues who does all the rankings, his season this year would be is equivalent to Bond's 11th best season. Otani can hit. We know that. Think about that. People are not talking about. People are talking about how Otani is the greatest. He's the greatest thing since sliced bread. That or whatever. Will he ever? Will, is it, will he go down as the goat? This is right now equivalent to Barry Bond's 11th best season. So Barry Bonds has had 10 seasons better than Otani's having now. And we're talking about this guy being a goat. And oh, you're only DHing. You're not even oh, in the field. Oh, 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 oh. Pause. Slow down. I can go ahead. I'm with you. Go Slow ahead. Down. Do you think? First of all, he ain't on steroids. Let's get that straight. We don't hold on. We don't know what this cat is doing. We have no idea. We he have no see. idea. Have you got a other than a wrestler? Have you ever seen an Asian man that big? Yeah. You had to think where? Because you had to think for a minute. I just, said, I just said yes. <laughs> eat your own but listen, near chops, that. chops, listen, Chops. Listen, I'm not saying – I'm saying for everything that he can do. Like, he's a, he could be an ace pitcher, right, right, Mark? Yeah, yeah. yeah. An ace, not like, hey, I'm third in the rotation. The ace and the best hitter. Like – the ace and he's hitting 50 home runs. I need you know, to see I don't it. know who, who else did that. Maybe uh, hey, Babe right. Roof. I don't know. Was Babe hey, Roof an ace? But what you're talking about now is the most dangerous word in the, U, U, the English language, potentially. Because we have not seen him be considered the ace and get 20 wins as when he, well, he's still hitting 45, 50 home runs. We believe he can do it. But I don't even know what his record is in pitching, to be honest with you. Now, if you're it, it, now, OK. So do you do that? Would you put him in the rotation as the second or third pitcher and then you're still going to have him batting? Or are you going to do that? Because you already realize that he has Tommy John that he can't. Okay, we'll see. 
Yeah, he already has done that. He's DH. Yeah, he did that a year ago, and and whatever it was, the owner, the owner uh, ligament, whatever it was, is healed, and there is big time talk that he's going to be pitching in the playoffs. Listen, big time talk. Hold on. What, on October nineteenth, I'm going to a gala in Pittsburgh. Josh Gibson gala. CC Sabathia is going to be there. He's he's being honored. I'm gonna ask CC what he thinks. I'm gonna get it on film. MS. Okay, here, here's, here's the problem. Everybody in sports now is in the kumbaya area. Let's exchange jerseys. Let's get him his bag. Nobody wants to be on. Okay, prime example. When Tua had his interview and he said, Brian Flores says, you didn't deserve to be there. You're not that good. People raked Brian Flores over the coals. Why would you say that to him? When we all know Brian Flores was right on track. Tua wasn't that good. They were talking about after a second year getting rid of Tua to take another number one. So Brian Flores was right in what he said, but since he said it, you heard his feelings. So Sabathia, now I'd like to know if Sabathia thinks when he played, if Otani could have been in the regular rotation and then batted, played, pitched all his games, however many he needs to start, and then batted. I'd like to see that. Okay. I'd like to know that. Are you, are you saying, okay, I got you. So DHing and pitching in one, is that what you're saying? Well, no. Well, shit, that's right. He's in the American League. That, yeah, no, I hate that. Because no, 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 if no, no, you're, no. Hold, on. hold Hold on. Because if you're, no. Because if he's, he's DHing out. The, the Dodgers are American League, right? National. No, they're national. Okay, okay. DHs in both leagues. Okay, so yes. If he's going to pitch. But if he's pitching, he wouldn't DH, he wouldn't DH that game. So that I want to see him pitch and bat in the same game. Like no, Judge, he wouldn't, wouldn't he Mark? He's done that. Yeah. He's done that. Hold, hold on. Effectively. Very hold effectively. On. Hold on, fellas. He's done that for a few games. He hasn't done that for an entire season and hit 45 home runs and had 15 wins. That's what I want to see. Get through a whole season. Get through a whole season where you can either play the field. No, where you can pitch. And if you're playing a whole season where you're pitching and you're playing a whole season where you're batting, which one suffers? Which one is going to suffer? Because, like, right now, your boy Hunter from Colorado, he's able to go both ways because he hasn't played top talent. But I'm telling you, when he comes against Arizona and at McMillan Cat or whatever you pronounce his name, he's not going to be effective both ways. That's what I'm tripping on. Right now, Otani is only DH and he's not even in the field. So I need to see, you know, I need to see a lot more, me personally. And I'd like to know this. How many more guys overseas can do or are doing what Otani does? Because nobody's ever allowed other players to go both ways or do it, you know what I mean, or play multiple positions. I got to believe there's other guys. And, and Because think about it. Ichiro came over. Wasn't a power hitter, but Ichiro could hit. And still, so I'd like to see if there are more guys over in the Japanese league that can do what Otani's doing. I'd like to see his, that. His career regular season stats, he pitched in 86 games. He's 38 and 19 with a 3.01 ERA. He's pitched a he's total. Pit, hold on. He's pitched in 86 games over how many seasons? I'm giving you innings now. 48 point, 481.2, 608 strikeouts, and his whip is 1.08. I mean, you, you break that down however you want to break that down. Well, I don't I don't know because again, I don't know how many seasons how many seasons has he been in the league? How many seasons well, has Tony he came been? into the league in 18 with the Yankees? Okay. Listen, so, in 2023, he hit 310 with 40 home runs. He had a 3.32 ERA uh at 124 and 160 Ks, bro. Okay. If you I ever okay. have one season that's arguably the greatest ever. They're saying, yeah, that, I mean, yeah. Okay, hold on. Who's the top pitcher in the league now, and what do they end the season with? How many strikeouts? You the guys know better. In the league right now is a kid from Detroit. Yeah. Um, well, even even if you went last year, two last two three years, what does the top guy have most strikeouts? Are they hitting two hundred? They hitting three hundred in a year? I don't know. Hitting two hundred. They're definitely hitting two hundred. Skeens okay. would have probably hit. Skeens would have hit three hundred this year if he'd have had a decent team and a regular start from the end of March when they begin baseball. I, I promise you that. I well, I also that. think they pull them when they shouldn't. I hate that in baseball now. Well, he's a, he's a terrible manager. Wait, that's a whole freaking another 
conversation. The guy in Pittsburgh has lost 100 games twice, and he still has his job. Mark, did he egg your house or something? You hate him. Mark hates no, him. He, no, he's right. The dude's bad. Tops, if you did your job that bad, do you yes. think your company would retain you? Yeah, yeah, Chops. But you can't hate him. Chops, hate but we're bringing owner. you back next year. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta bring that. You gotta hate the owner. Yeah, Chops, Chops. you suck. Hey, but we got a Christmas bonus for you. Here you go. <laughs> Nobody doing that. Like, I deliver. Crazy. I deliver. I, I deliver for Pepsi and tell all my clients to go to Coke. <laughs> but I just, I don't know, man. I, I blame them, owner. The manager's going to keep showing up if the, if the checks Oh, clear. no doubt. No doubt. You, can't blame. you know what I'm saying? And I don't understand, fellas, let's keep it a buck. I don't understand why that clubhouse is not revolted either. They have an ace. They've got some bats. They, with effective managing, could be in the mix. I don't see they why nobody in the clubhouse is in there. What's you that? realize that, right? They should be one of the wild card teams. Yes. And why okay, are so here's my problem with the manager, Chops. He keeps trotting guys out there that are hitting – freaking below the Mendoza line. He keeps trotting guys out there out of the bullpen. Bednar, he's blown eight or nine saves this year, but yet Barbara, he keeps putting them in save situations. And I'm getting you, but why is the why is the clubhouse not revolting? Because years ago when Kent Kobe and, you know, Ed Hart, Ed Hart, years ago, you could do things in the, in the locker room that we wouldn't find out. But now everything is get out there. Why are the players not, because they have guys that can swing the stick, they have effective pitching. Why is the clubhouse not revolting against this cat saying, why is he still our manager? Why are you saying, or, I don't, I don't get it. That, that, I don't that, have oh, an answer for it. I don't, I, why is, it? Let even better. Why is the city not revolting against him? Because they lose money when the pirates don't draw crowds, especially those places around, around the stadium. I, I can tell you for a fact, this is uh, three, four years ago. Uh, me, Vince, and my brother went to a game, and it was competitive the first eh, four or five innings, and the Pirates got blown out. So we left. It was the seventh inning. It wasn't even 9 o'clock at night, fellas. It was like 8.30 in all the bars around. A Thursday night in early August, and all the bars around that stadium were closed. Are you serious? Yes. Was, I remember within the last seven to eight years, my parents being able to go to a game if they say bring bring a can good. They say go, go to a can. Because oh, my yeah. father was like, I grew up watching the Pirates. I'm not paying to watch this. But my my father loves baseball. Yeah. So he would he go, I'll, I'll go take a can of corn. We ain't gonna eat it any. You know what I mean? But I'm like, <laughs> PNC, a beautiful, a beautiful facility, beautiful park. You have pitching, you have bats now. You know what I mean? And I, I, the city we stand for it, the players in the clubhouse stand for it. I don't know, fellas. You, you think at this point, though, and, and we got to get get done here. We're getting close to the end, but you think at this point that this guy would look at the model of the Steelers and the Penguins, realizing that when you spend money and bring players in, that you put more butts in the seats, and that brings more money to you. I don't buy pirate gear anymore, fellas. No, but I buy Steeler gear and I Penguin buy Penguin gear. gear. Okay? City of Champions. Remember that? Remember that we that we call City of Champions? Amen. Man, Amen. that's ridiculous. I I can't believe. But again, can't blame the coach. As long as those checks keep clearing, that clown is going to keep coming. Yep. Man, I'd like to get it. I'm reach out to see if he'd come on the show. You're <laughs> terrible. You're terrible. But they keep bringing you on. Are you shocked? Do you go home and tell your wife, babe? I can't believe these some guys. They keep paying me. <laughs> yeah. Go go check our bank account. He still pays me to be shitty. <laughs> I just had a 10-game losing streak, and I lived through it. How about that, baby? And they're bringing me back next year. Life His wife good. tells him, people know what you can do, how bad you can get. Wear a Yankees hat and a Red Sox shirt to the park on TV and see if they'll still keep you. He was like, yeah, I bet you I can do anything, and they'll keep me. I mean, it's terrible. It's terrible. Hey, fellas, we got to get to the end here. Time's running out for us. Our Roku station is, is about up for tonight. It's been a fun show. Uh, just recapping some of those games, taking a look at college football. Um, yeah, Sheen, you have a question for us tonight? What again? You got you a have, question for us tonight? If he doesn't, no, I do. No. Sorry. Hit us Real with quick, it. quick, do you think the Dolphins in the Jacksonville Jaguars front office are rethinking all the money they gave these cats? Absolutely. No. That's a they whole show to. there. They have to. Absolutely. You knew Tua was concussion prone. Lawrence, eh, eh. yeah, 
he should have a concussion and get the hell out of here. I do have a, actually, I have a question. Um, I mean, I, I made some Kool Aid the other day. My wife doesn't like me making Kool Aid. What's your favorite Kool Aid growing up, Chops? Don't say r- mine. Yes. Oh, mine was cherry all day. Not Mark. red, cherry. Mark? My favorite is grape. Not purple, grape. Exactly. Grape, Did yes. You make it when you pour so much sugar in, you see the, the Kool Aid rising. How much sugar do you, you can't put? Too, don't put. I hate when brothers make Kool Aid. It's so sweet. You get a toothache after the second glass. No, dog. Uh uh-uh. uh. So hey, you, you see the it, sugar rising. It's been it's been fun. Uh, make sure you tune in to see us next Tuesday night at seven o'clock. Actually, this cat won't be there, but my boys will have complete control of this thing. Shane, tell them where they can find you at. Social media. He's on social media. You can find him at Facebook and Instagram and TikTok and and the X. You can find him at Chops. Where do we find you at, my man? On the gram, you find me at Big Chop seventy nine. On, government. on you know, on Facebook, you can find me at my government, Michael Gregory Mills, Mills. and on on the X, ah, the, the real, real big top seventy nine. Don't hate cheese toast. Don't hate cheese toast. Uh, shit. Hey, you can find us at OSP with MM or Original Spot uh, Sports Podcast. You see it right there underneath my name, the Barber. Uh, you can also check out our webpage, podpage.com. Original Sports Podcast. We are on Facebook, Twitter, Snapchat, Instagram, TikTok. We push, we push a lot of stuff out on and I do our, some of our clips lately. So check out our clips. And you can also watch this show if you didn't catch it in its entirety on our YouTube channel. Uh, big shout out to our networks. Let's Talk Sports, Sideline Sports, Elite Sports and Entertainment, Peak One, and Manning Media. Again, don't forget to catch our show on Roku if you – uh, came in late. It's on 7 o'clock Tuesday nights. Feel free to reach out to us with any comments, questions, suggestions on the original sports podcast at gmail.com. Uh, thanks to Medley for doing our voice intro. Thanks to my guy Charlie Hodgson for doing our music. Don't forget to join us next week to experience the O on the original sports podcast. Great.